We're a long time Wisconsin based family owned cheese company. We started as a, a very small one owner, one operator type of facility. My grandfather was the second generation, um, was real instrumental of converting us from cheddar to mozzarella and then again mozzarella uh, to a string cheese manufacturer in the 70s along with my father, um, a couple of my uncles. Um, we became a big pioneer in, in string cheese. So we're currently uh, probably one of the largest standalone string cheese operations in the country. We've been fortunate to partner up locally with excellent local farmers. We have very high quality milk. And really what we're trying to accomplish with it is we really want the milk to come in from the farm and be converted into a high quality piece of string cheese and vacuum packed and ready to eat for the consumer in, a, in less than a 48 hour period. And at the end of the day, we may end up with almost three million sticks of string cheese that will, will go through our facility. And we find that when you have a single little stick that's only five inches long and you have to get a code date in this specific spot and the consumer is expecting to read that code date or whatever other information you need to, you need to print on there, um, we, we, we weren't real happy with the consistency of what we were getting out of the equipment we were using. My name is Jim Gill. I am the maintenance manager at Baker Cheese. We are experiencing a lot of downtime. Our printer costs are getting a little bit out of control through the age of our printers, and we're looking to upgrade into a printer that would perform as well as a printer can in our environment. Uh, we had asked our, our, uh, our maintenance staff, our engineering group, Jim specifically, to look at other options. And he had already been looking at some of them without telling us, which is, which is a good thing, very proactive. So the first step was bringing it in and, and putting it on, and through the ringer a little bit on our toughest applications. And, and it, it was a slam dunk. It, it, it was very quickly evident that we had a piece of equipment that we were gonna really be able to get behind and start transitioning ourselves from having average code date look to an exceptional code date look. We did a couple of head-to-head -head tests with some other manufacturers out there and Hitachi came out on top consistently. We ran these trials over the course of a couple of weeks so we knew what we were getting ourselves into and they've been bulletproof for us since we've installed them. Virtually no downtime. They've exceeded our expectations for our application. It was really a good fit for our plan.